the Pharisees fought them and drove them away. <laughs> Again, okay, Francis got an inspiration. But the British, uh, but the, uh, the British uh, uh, had a consolation prize. Sultan Ali Muddin of Sulu was a prisoner in Manila for some unchristian actions. He was converted, which is still a controversy in Philippine history, baptized, and then so he's there. And then when the British came, he escaped from prison, went to Pasig where the British were, and sought their protection. In return, he said, okay, I will give you a place in my territory, North Borneo, South Palawan, Sulu. And the British, of course, went there, and Saba is still a question of Philippine or not territory. Begin, begin with this British occupation of Manila, Ali Murid. So we have here that situation. Did the British occupation uh, leave any lasting effect? The occupation forces were strong enough to hold only Intramuros. And of course, the road, the Pasig River, were, which was their lifeline for their food supplies, unless, unless guerrillas attacked them. And that was one of the things that Anda always did. Watch for the food squad going up the Pasig, or returning with food and attacking them. So it was really a hard time for the British in Intramuros. And on the other hand, was going steadily because of the money, etc. And many more joined him later on. He now had uniforms, bullets, and a regular, an army regular, army of uh, fighters. And then, but the Philippines was left economically ruined. The treasury was empty. The merchant community was penniless. Why? Because for between 1762 and 1765, no galleon left Manila and no city had returned. Five years without money, how can a government continue? So Manila and the community who could not send the galleon were penniless. Livestock had been slaughtered for food. And of course the farms were destroyed and during this time, they couldn't plan because of the fighting. So famine threatened the place. But more important was the psychological effect. What did the Filipinos say? Spain, after all, is not invincible. That is why we had the rebel uprisings in Ilocos and Pangasinan. After all, Spain is not invincible. Luckily, Anda and his lieutenants took care of these movements. And then, before they knew it, the Treaty of Paris was signed, the end of the war. And the British, of course, left. And, of course, he turns home to Spain a hero. He returns to the Philippines in 1770, the next governor for the Philippines. But this time... He was not as successful as in his previous stay here. But he did something. He strengthened the colonial defense because of his experience. Hmm? He increased the military forces, constructed a fleet of 17 vessels in one year, record time at that time because it used to be two or three years before you finish one vessel. But in one year he finished 17, something good. He inaugurated the Consulado de Manila, which separated economic and administrative matters in two offices, because before that was Ciudad y Comercio de Manila, one office. Now it's different. Consulado y la Ciudad. And what did the Consulado do? They were the voice of the Manila traders in competition with the Spanish peninsular traders. And they succeeded in doubling the permiso, or the amount of goods you could ship in the galleon, and of course, it, the situado, the subject, would be double the permiso. They did that. So there was something. But still, it was not enough. And the governor had to, or was forced really, to take loans from the obras pias, the pious uh, charitable institutions, and other creditors. 
and he had to lower his salaries including his own so that were some of the problems that he had and then when a few months after he returned an earthquake destroyed Intramuros locusts ate the new crops <laughs> famine again stalked the land he was <laughs> that kind of thing uh, but anyway we have that Two galleons sank. A third was hit by lightning and burnt. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, these are balance of things. Huh? And Anda fell sick, died in the hospital of San Felipe in Cavite, who she had just established. That's the end of Anda. So we have here uh, the problem of his personality, actually. It was... Uh, well, he was that. You could not criticize him. He was almost dictatorial. And he could have received the help of the audiencia, which he never did, and the traders, which he never did, so he was left all alone to solve the problems of the country. By the way, even when the Spaniards uh, was this, uh, considered Rojo as a, a weakling, when he died, 1764, the British were still around. They honored him with high military honors after he died. So anyway, what is my last point here? The Philippines fought loyally for Spain. Because as I just mentioned, Spain humanized the Filipinos, in order to Christianize them. Spain failed to recognize its success. I think this was the tragedy, the whole thing. What do I mean? Colonies are self-liquidating. You exploit the colony, you develop it. Who benefits from this? Another question. But the point is, colonization, every colonial program develops the colony. In time, the colony develops its own identity and it demands recognition of what they believe they are. Spain failed to realize its access. To the end, until 1900, the Filipinos, both the, the Criollos, Mestizos, Españoles, and then the Indios, of course, were hijos del país, you know. Country here, Palabario, hijos del país, país, country. And they refused to allow them to share, share not independent government of their own country. And this was an insult to the Filipino, not the individual Filipino, but to the race. And they reacted as a race. This discontent, now there is evidence that the foreigners egged them on, exploded in the Cavita mutiny. Unfortunately, the bungling reaction of Manila to this mutiny hastened the end of Spanish presence in the Far East. So this is the story of the British occupation of Manila in the total context of colonization. Spain failed to recognize its own success. And after the Cavite mutiny, it was just a matter of time before they disappeared from the Far East. Thank you.